Coming up next, and John Johnson is here with a preview. John. Let's open up the lounge, Neil. Spring sports season is upon us as the Tigers look to rebound after being shut out Friday evening. Also, the Hillman Tigers hit the field at home for two Saturday afternoon. How would the boys fare? Jay's got you covered in the Highlight Lounge. Next. Hillman High School Baseball opened up their season at home Saturday morning with a doubleheader against Johannesburg Lewiston. In Game 1, the Tigers came out on the losing end, losing 9-5. But with a doubleheader, you get a chance at redemption. To Hillman Junior Senior High School, we go for Game 2, and the bats were alive for the Tigers. It's 3-1 for Hillman, top of the fourth, when Trenton Hop laces this into left field. It's going to kick past the left field and roll all the way to the wall. That'll play to run. Hop is going to try to stretch this into a triple, but he gets gunned down right here. Still, it's an RBI for the kid, and it's a 4-1 Hillman. Top of the six, Dylan Stanky smokes this ball in the left. It'll hit up the base of the wall. That's a ribeye steak for Stanky as Bubba Banks trots on home. 5-1. to one. Bottom of the sixth, things would get a little white-knuckled for Hillman. After back-to-back -back singles, Corey Hennigan induces this pop out to shallow right. Now with two outs, Hennigan gets this pop up, and that's a can of corn. Andrew Funk makes the catch as Hillman locks up their first win of 2016, 5-1. to one. Hillman opens up league play versus Mayo Monday afternoon. The Hillman Tigers softball team opened up play Saturday with a tournament down at Allgrays. The girls battled all afternoon, winning their first two games by a combined 17 runs. But the girls fell to Farwell in the championship game 6-5. to five. Eve LaFlush collected five hits in the tournament. Both Vanessa Shook and Morgan Dove started and registered wins for the Lady Tigers. The Tigers hit the field against on Monday against Mayo. Alpena High School baseball split two games on the afternoon. In game one against uh, Farwell, they got the victory as Joe Ayala recorded the win. Brandon Dassey also recorded a couple hits in the ball game. Game two, though, as Alpena fell to Midland Dow, Joe Ayala blasted a two-run home run. The kid's on fire. Alpena is now 3-1 on the season. They hit the field on Tuesday against Petoskey. Michigan Wolverines take game two of their three-game series versus Ohio State 5-1. Michigan proves to 32-4 on the season. Faith Campwell went 1-3 for three with a two-run blast on the afternoon. Michigan will look to complete the three-game series sweep against Ohio State on Sunday afternoon. First pitch for that game is scheduled at 1 p.m. And Michigan State takes game two against Indiana 6-5. They improved to 22-20 and 20 on the season. Cassidy Kajawa blasted a three-run home run on the afternoon. State will try to complete their series sweep as well against Indiana Sunday at 1 p.m. Michigan's baseball team took game two of their three-game series versus Nebraska 7-2. The Wolverines improved to 24 and 9 on the season. Akeo Thomas was 2 for 4 on the afternoon with three ribeye stakes himself. The Spartans, they too also came with a victory as they came on top 5 to 3 over Purdue. Spartans have now won each of their last four games to improve to 25 and 6 on the season. Justin Hovis was 3 for 3 on the afternoon for Sparty. State will look to complete their series sweep against Purdue on Sunday afternoon. Prior to Friday's loss, the Tigers won each of their last four, or each of their first four road games to start the 2016 season. After being shut out by all-star pitcher Dallas Keuchel, Detroit was looking to rebound Saturday evening. On the mound for the Tigers would be their ace, Justin Verlander. Verlander has struggled out of the gate in 2016, sporting a plus eight ERA. Could he right the ship and get the Tigers back in the win column? Well, to Houston we go, and this was some kind of ball game. We'll jump ahead to the top of the fifth. Tigers down 3-1 when Justin Upton grounds this ball to Luis Balblina. He throws it across the diamond, but first baseman Tyler White drops it and it'll scoop down the line. Jose Iglesias will score. Tigers now down 3-2. Then it's in the sixth, and the Salty enters the launching pad. Jared Salta Lamacchia goes fresh squeezed at Minute Maid Park. That's a two-run blast. Tigers now up 4-3. to three. I mentioned Justin Verlander looking to get back on track. Well, after allowing three runs in the first, Verlander went to dealing. Here he punches out Jason Castro looking. Later, he tells Colby Rasmus to grab some pine. Verlander would finish the night with eight strikeouts. Top of the ninth, Tigers looking for a little insurance when Victor Martinez smokes this ball over the head of Carlos Gomez and up the hill it goes. Miguel Cabrera is going to lumber on home. The Tigers jump ahead 5-3. to three. They go on to win this ball game 5-3. to three. 